All right, y'all. So what's up, everybody? Um, check it out. I think this is gonna be my last video on this topic, on this whole Haney versus Lomachenko, uh, this whole robbery. And this is gonna be my last video on it because, um, in my eyes, this is getting kind of out of hand, bro. Like, you know, this is bringing out the racism in people, bro. It's, it's dividing people and shit. And uh, honestly, I ain't about that shit, bro. Like. That, that ain't why I started did this channel. That's not why I got into this shit, bro. Anybody that knows me, they know that I'm about uh, uplifting people and just positive shit, bro. I'm not about none of this negative, uh, this negative stuff that's going on, you know? Um, when I see something fall in boxing, bro, uh, I, I not just in boxing and anything, to be honest with you, bro, I call it out. I call, I call it out. I'm just built like that, bro. Like, I don't care if it would have been my favorite boxer on the other side of that shit, bro. If some if some foul shit would have happened, I would have called it out. I wouldn't I wouldn't have just been happy because my boxer won. And he got the decision. I'm, I'm not like that, man. You know, um, you know, I've been out of town and shit. I've been out of town. That's why I've been making the videos out, out the car. But I just got back home and shit, so now I got a little bit more time to really break this thing down for you guys, you know. Um, and like I said, this will be my last video on the topic. And I'm going to move on from this shit. But, you know, you guys want my my opinion and, and why I think Loma won the fight. I'm going to give you guys just, just a couple quick uh, just a couple quick pointers of, of, of things you guys might have missed or whatever, you know. But, you know, in this, in this fight, man, that was so close, and I know it was a close fight, man. It was a good-ass fight. Hell of a fight. Nobody's talking about that shit. You know what? If I make another video about this, I'm going to talk about the fight and I forget all this other shit, you know, because it was, it was a good fight, man. And everybody's missing that shit. Every, nobody's talking about how good this fight was, like I said, you know. But, um, but think about it. In a fight that was so, so damn close, man, the, the, everybody agrees the... the uh, the rounds were super hard to judge, right? Everybody can agree to that, right? Um, what were the two rounds in this fight that were undisputable, man? Like, one boxer dominated the other boxer. What were the two rounds, the only two rounds that I don't think nobody could could disagree that those were dominant rounds? It was the 10th and the 11th round, man. And who won those rounds? Lomachenko. And those rounds, you could say Lomachenko had Haney hurt. You could say he had him in trouble. Oh, good shot. That hurt he hurt him with that. Him you know, he uh, he took those rounds in a dominant fashion, you know. And can you say the same about Haney? You know, when can you go back and show me even one round where you could say that Haney dominated Lomachenko, man? You can't. All I saw through this fight was Haney's head being snapped back by Loma's punches. Man. When do you see Haney land a clean shot on Loma? a headshot on Loma and snap his head back very, very few times. But throughout the whole entire fight, you see Loma snapping Haney's head back with his shots, man. Landing clean, effective punches, man. You know, and I know you guys are saying, oh, but the Haney, he put in the body work, he went to the body, this and that. Yeah, man, he has some nice, beautiful body work. But when the hell does body work beat head punches, man? Come on, let's be real, man. Uh, he he threw some nice body shots, but but body shots don't compare to head punches, man. It's a lot harder to hit the head than to hit the body, man. Anybody can hit the body. Like, man, come on, man. Let's just be real. Go back and watch the fight. I might throw in uh, some clips in here to show y'all what I'm talking about. All you see is Haney's head being snapped back, bro. Loma throwing the better combinations. You know what I'm saying? The two most dominant rounds in this fight that was so damn close went to, to, to Loma. And you guys still ain't giving him credit for that shit. You know what I'm saying? You guys are still saying that Haney won. Loma won that fight and uh, nobody's going to convince me otherwise, you know. But at the end of the day, if you guys want to ride with, with Haney, it's all good, man. You know, like I said, everybody has their opinion. Everybody has the, their opinion, and uh, I respect people's opinion and shit, you know, but I'm just giving you guys my uh, what I saw and why I say that Loma won this fight. But let's talk about something else, man. And we, let's, let's get to the bigger picture here, like the corruption in boxing, bro. Uh, Dave Moretti, come on, man. Even all of you guys that say that Haney won this this uh, fight, you guys can't tell me that that guy ain't, ain't straight garbage, man. That that guy needs to go, man. That... That that guy is the most corrupt thing uh, in boxing, bro. 
this guy, he gave the 10th round to, to Haney, man. I mean, you guys could at least agree with me on that, that, that there's something up with this guy, right? You know what? Um, something else. Teddy Atlas, man, actually is starting a petition uh, after this fight because, you know, he said he's tired of, of seeing this bullshit too. Uh, a petition to make a national boxing uh, council. You guys check out Teddy Atlas on, on YouTube. Uh, he said, I don't know if he's got it up yet or if he's barely putting it up, but it's a petition to uh, to, to make a, a, a national boxing council, man. You guys check it out. Go sign that thing, man. It's going to be digital. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how, how that stuff works, right? But um uh you guys check that shit out man and then let's 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 make a change man let's get let's get these guys out of here man these guys got no business bro like this time you guys you guys are cool about it like your 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 favorite boxer won this time you might have won some money on him whatever right but but what's gonna you know what what happens next time bro like when you lose when you put when you put a bag on somebody and, and they rob you you know what i'm saying you're gonna be sick just the way other people were sick this time and you know what forget about the money and all that shit bro it's not even about that it's about the, the, the boxers, man. It's about these boxers, bro, that put their life on the line and just get robbed, bro. Lomachenko, you guys don't understand. Lomachenko got his dream stolen away from him, man. Everything he worked his entire life for, bro, like, they took that away from him. They took that away from him with with no remorse, man. Nothing, bro. Like, this shit is sad as hell, bro. And how many times has this happened in boxing in the past? This fucking Dave Moretti guy... And fucking Cheatham too. Uh, I forgot what his first name. Tim Cheatham, I think. I don't remember what his name is. Uh, these are the same guys that that scored uh, in the Tank and Garcia fight when Tank cracked Garcia, knocked him, almost knocked his ass out cold. These were the same guys that scored that round 10-10. They they scored a 10 to 10 man. Where when Gervonta knocked down Garcia, man. How do you explain this shit, bro? Like. Like let's let's forget about this fight and let's get into the bigger picture of things, man. Let's stand up for some something that's right, bro. Let's try to make a change about this shit, bro. My platform is small. I just I just started my channel, man. I know there's I'm limited to what I could do, but hopefully I could reach some of y'all and together we could do some. I wish I had a bigger platform because I'd I'd be trying to do a lot more, man. But I just started I just started my channel, but but I always try to stand up for what's right, man. Because this 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 world is full of too much bullshit, bro. And and uh. There comes a, a a time in your life where where you learn that you gotta stand up and you gotta you gotta do the right thing, man. And you just can't be out here bullshitting through through life, just you know, just turning away when you see some foul shit happen, bro. I think, I think we need to do some to to get some of these fucking uh, judges out of there, man. These corrupt ass ass motherfuckers, bro. Something has has to be done because these guys are playing with people's lives, bro. People, these boxers go in there, put their life on the line, and these guys are just playing with them, bro. And they're laughing at you and me, bro, when you're throwing your money buying these pay-per-views and shit and they do shit they're laughing in your face bro they do this stuff to you and they're 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 laughing at you dog like they're they're doing this shit so they don't even try to cover this shit up no more man because they don't care bro they don't they just they just know that we ain't gonna do shit about it this shit this has gotten to 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 a point where people are they turning they're turning this shit into a race thing bro and and I, I just want to come on here real quick and just tell y'all. Um, and I told you they're turning it into a race thing because I've seen the race, the racist comments that they're leaving to me, bro. Like, like t calling me all types of shit, bro. I don't know if y'all know, man. I'm Mexican, bro. Like, people are out here talking shit, probably thinking I'm white or some shit, bro. But I'm I'm Mexican, you know. And and I and you know what? I'll I'll, I'll take a quick minute to tell you guys something. Um, on this channel, you will never see no racist bullshit, bro. I don't. I'm not built like that. I, I don't have a single racist bone in my body. Like, I come on here and I give you guys my opinion. I don't give a fuck what race the boxers are. You know, I give you guys my honest opinion on what I think about these boxers, you know. My fa my favorite current boxer is Tank Davis, man. My second uh, favorite boxer is David Benavides. You know, um, I I'm not on that bullshit, bro. Like, you know, if you get on my channel, you know, who's, who's every Mexican's favorite boxer pretty much you know it's canelo you get on my channel you see me I, I fucking call out canelo for all the bullshit that he does you know i promise you guys on my channel you ain't ever gonna see no racist bullshit that's one thing that i could promise you guys right now like me i call shit for what it is bro like and i like i said i don't give a fuck what 
what race uh, these boxers are. I think somebody's the best, bro. I'm gonna say that they're the best. I'm like, I ain't gonna look into the race, racist shit. I know racism exists in boxing, bro. Like, I'm not blind to this shit, but I promise you guys, you ain't, you guys ain't gonna see this, that shit on uh, this channel. Um, yeah, but that's all, man. That, that's it, bro. I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it right here. But you guys make sure to go check out Teddy Atlas, bro. And you guys get that damn petition signed, man. Let's, let's stand up for what's right. You know, let's make a change and shit. Let's just stop talking about this shit and let's, let's try to make a change, you know. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. You know, I'll be on to the next one. There's other boxing news brewing and shit. So, uh, you know, David, uh, Benavides and Canelo, man, they're talking about, there's talks about, uh, you know, they got together and shit there and they're, they're, they're about to send a contract. So, We'll see, man. We'll see. Hopefully, man, that'll 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 be dope as hell. I've been getting on Canelo's ass because he's been ducking Benavides, but we'll see. We'll see if he he gets it done and shit, you know. But yeah, that's it, y'all, man. I'm out. Um, you guys check out Teddy Atlas and sign that damn position and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment, you know what I'm saying? Show show some love, and I appreciate all you guys that are showing love. You know, I really appreciate y'all. But that's it, y'all, man. I'm out.